man charged with killing a woman in her home after she called 911 was back in court today. 16 WABT Stephanie Maxwell shows us what happened in court and explains why the woman's family may sue police. 29-year-old Alonzo Stewart pleaded not guilty Friday morning. Prosecutors say he beat, strangled, and shot 67-year-old Helen Harrigan in her home in July. Months after the murder, Harrigan's family is still waiting to hear from police about why no one helped their mother after she called 911. Helen Harrigan's daughter fighting back tears in court Friday morning as Alonzo Stewart pleaded not guilty to murdering her mother. He killed my mother for no reason. Harriet's children want to know who's accountable for no one coming to their mother's rescue the night she died. 2715 Kings Road Avenue. What's your name, please? I'm Ruth Harriet. We sent the police. Thank you. Thank you. For this person to come in her house and she called for help from 911, they did not keep her on the phone. The police did not do what they were supposed to do to their best ability to keep her safe. Days after the murder, former Chief Lindsey Horton spoke about his officer's handling of the 911 call. I do think that our officers could have done a better job. After Friday's hearing, Harrigan's family, wearing specifically made shirts, gathered outside of the courtroom. This t shirt that I have on is to let people know she was somebody. She was our mother. We want to know why this happened. We don't ever want another family to go through this horrible, horrible crime and the pain that we've gone through. Harrigan's family says Jackson Police and Mayor Tony Yarber still have not given them answers about what happened during that 911 call. If we don't hear anything soon, if they don't try to do something for this family, we're going to file a lawsuit. If it happened to her, it can happen to your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, your children. Everybody need to take notice of this. This, this is, not, I'm not done with this. We called the mayor's office for a response to the family's claims. The spokesperson would only say it remains a personnel matter. It has not been fully resolved. Stephanie Maxwell, 16 WAPT News. Alonzo Stewart is due back in court next March.